Hi everybody, I've been asked a few times how I would go about making tabs in Unity. Here's a quick example of what we're going to do. Just a simple UI with multiple tabs up the top you can click on and browse through. Of course you can put whatever content you want on each tab. First up we're going to create a panel. Everything starts with a panel. This panel is going to be our holder object. As such, we don't need an image on it. So we'll just get rid of that. We'll create some children for it. The first child we'll create will be our panel. And we'll adjust that down in size a little bit just to make it look pretty. I'm going to drag my own sprite onto it. There's a little bit of a bug in Unity in which the sprites don't batch properly if you use the default sprites. So if you want to cut down on draw calls, always use your own sprites. I've also set the alpha on that up to um, fully solid. Using this technique, we need to set it fully solid. There's other techniques you could use that would mean you wouldn't have to do this. Right, so we've made a second panel. Again, turn the alpha up. I chose to make two separate UI elements, one for the tab and one for the background. It's easier to do it this way. You don't need any fancy scripting to determine where you've clicked or anything like that. Just position that so it looks kind of nice. We'll give these some sensible names. Um, I'll just call that tab pane. Uh, we'll call the main box just pane. And then we'll call this little bit up the top the tab. We'll make that all into a prefab. Making the prefab just lets us edit multiple copies of it at once and we'll go ahead and duplicate that there we have our four tabs of course to make it user friendly we'll slide these tabs across until we get them about where we want there's no reason why you couldn't do this programmatically um, via scripts, but for the purposes of this tutorial, we'll just position them about right. We'll give it all a nice color, give each one a different color. No particular need to do this, um, but it's easier to demonstrate what I'm doing. rather than creating individual content. If you wanted individual content for each tab, all you do is put it as a child of the pane object. Alright, now we've got all of our distinct tabs all with the unique colors so we're going to go down to the prefab and grab the tab and we're just going to make this a button by adding the UI button we're going to add a listener to the on click and we're going to drag the parent tab pane that's why we put them together on the present parent so we're going to, going to grab that and we're going to grab rip transform set last sibling we can do this because the UI is rendered in order in the hierarchy order and then we hit glow, go and there you have it tabbed browsing five minutes hope you enjoyed this like comment subscribe if you have any questions ask them in the comments below thanks